how can we get the school day off to the right start for those children and young people who perhaps struggle with getting into school on time or sometimes getting in at all? Now, that is the question, ultimately, that we're going to be addressing in this Bite Size CPD. Um, hopefully you are watching this in a staff meeting, and if not, then maybe you're watching it on your own, but do pause at the pause points and have a think about the questions I'm posing to you, then you'll get more out of it. Okay, so I'd like you to go with me a little bit here. Um, we can often learn more about how to help everybody when we think about how to help the most vulnerable. Generally, if we meet the needs of the most vulnerable, then we meet the needs of everybody. So we're gonna have a child in mind here. Think of a child or young person who you are working with, who is struggling a bit with coming to school at the moment, who finds perhaps that beginning of the school day a bit hard. Now imagine you are them stepped directly into their shoes and you are in bed in the morning, you've got the whole school day ahead of you, and you are imagining what's going to happen when you arrive at school. You're imagining that first interaction. Now, when you imagine that first interaction, this might be something that makes you think, yeah, I can do this, I can do this, and you would get up, get dressed, and get yourself to school. Or you might think, no, -uh, no way. There's no way I can manage that. And that imagined first interaction instantly makes you shrink away from the idea of doing this and the covers are pulled up and we're refusing school today. We're not able to do it. Okay, so have a think. What would that child be imagining? Now, in order for us to try and make this work for everybody, we've really got to stop and think about it from the point of view of the child. So you might be saying, would you know what, we do all the right things. But actually, it's not just about what you're doing, it's about the child's perception. So first question for you is how can we find out how our most vulnerable children are imagining that first interaction? How can we get inside their minds and think about what might be going through their head when they're laying in bed thinking about the school day ahead? What's either motivating or demotivating them? What steps can we take to understand that better? Okay. Okay, so I'm sure that you all dutifully paused the video and had a think about how can we learn from our children and young people a bit more about their feelings about the beginnings of the school day. Their perception matters rather than our reality, remember? Now I want you to stop and have a think with your colleagues about what would a bad start to the school day look like. Now remember, we work with a very wide range of children, so what works for one might not work for another. But think back on your own experience of arriving at different places, the things that maybe made you feel less comfortable Comfortable, or things that perhaps you've observed uh, in your role um, that have made some children and young people feel less comfortable. What are the things that might be said or done or the environmental changes that might make the beginning of the school day feel like a negative moment for a child or young person? Okay, so we've had to think about what might not be good, what would be a bad start to the school day. So let's flip that completely now and stop and think about what would a good start to the school day look like? What might be positive ways that would encourage that child when they're in bed in the morning thinking about, can I do this? What would make them think, yes, I can? What would be a positive start to the school day? Remember thinking about interactions, thinking about the people, thinking about the environment, all those different things. What might be a positive start to the school day? Okay, number four is trying to think about action planning a little bit. So we had a really good think about the start of the school day, about how this can have a big impact on whether or not some of our more vulnerable children feel able to engage with school at all. And so what are the practical steps that we can take? So I'm gonna suggest that you take a moment to have a think about what are the things that we can do to help everyone? And then maybe thinking about what are the things that we can do to help some specific vulnerable groups. If you've got particular groups of children who you think might need particular measures in place, for example, children struggling with anxiety, say, what might we do for them? Um, and then finally, are there any specific steps that we could take that we could tailor for individuals? So if you've got particular children who are really, really struggling with the start of the school day or engaging with school, what might we do for them? Okay, 
I hope it was helpful. I hope that's given you some ideas to go away and think about and try. Um, I would love to hear how you use this. Do take a moment, if you can, to, to leave some comments below, um, because also don't forget that lots of other schools will be engaging in this video too. And if you've got some ideas that have worked for you, if you leave them below, then you might find that others pick up and use them too. Sharing is caring. Ah, oh, the cheese. Okay, uh, good luck, and do let me know if there are topics you would like me to cover in future videos or future bite-sized CPD sessions. And remember to subscribe to keep up to date with my new videos, which come out on a Tuesday and a Friday. Okay, goodbye, till next time.